Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to extract integers, the numbers, from any alphanumeric strings in your Android app. So let's begin. We'll create a new project. Empty integers from alphanumeric string. Okay, and I'll click finish. I'll wait for my environment to load. Once the environment loads up. In the layout file, I'll quickly insert. Okay, I'll keep this text view, the default one which we get. The default one which we'll get in the layout. I'll give it some ID, text view, and probably I'll increase the size of the string, the size of the text from 14 to probably say 20, and also I'll increase the size of the text. So we'll display it over here. And I'll also put a button. So this will be my output. And if I go back here, I'll just change it from hello world to initially programmer. Okay, and this is my button. So name of the button could be extract integers. I'll give it constraints. And then I'll put a plain text where I can enter alphanumeric uh, strings or I can ask it from the users and over here what I can do is I can just remove name I can give some constraints the ID looks okay but I can make it simpler just edit text yeah you can refactor no problem what else I will give some hints over here probably hint will be the grayed out uh, text which will appear enter alpha numeric string perfect dot 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 okay so this will be my uh, input and then when i press this button uh, i will get the output in the below text view and i'll go to my java file i'll quickly create a public void method public void button extract integers from string. I have given a long name, of course, just to make sure that we understand what we are doing in this method. And I'll go back to my activity, to my layout. And over here in this button, on click attribute, I'll just associate it with that particular method which we just know, load. And before we proceed, we'll just create quickly two class variables. One will be, it can be private, it need not be protected. Uh, it's always better to, and one will be text view. The other will be edit text. Text view, find view by id r dot id dot text view. And the other could be edit text, find view by id r dot id dot edit text. Perfect. So we'll use these two widgets uh, or the local variables to do our stuff. So in this particular uh, method, first and foremost, we'll define a string variable, a string input, uh, string input, yeah. So this is my input, which we'll pull out from edit text dot to string. I think I can do, get text to string, yeah. And once we have our inputs, then we'll convert it into our, uh, a string with integers, so a string integer. So only the numbers or the integers we will pull out. So what we can do is in this string input, we can run a command called replace all, and we can use a regular expression, something like escape character and then the backslash d. So this will search for all the uh, text or the known no, uh, number form, and we can replace it. So we'll replace it by uh, just uh, Null or please don't even I have not given any space, so it will just replace it with nothing, and that will get that will get converted. That all the alpha, I think alphabets will get changed into uh, will be replaced or will be deleted. And once we have it, then we can print this in our text view set text string integers. Perfect. We can also do one thing uh, just for uh, as, uh, demo purpose. I'm showing we can also 
in case you want it in the integer form to use it in some calculation or something so it's say for example string from integer so what we can do is we can use something called uh, integer dot value of and then over here you can use this strings integers and this will get converted this string form will get convert converted into the into the number form over here in this line number 31 but since we will be printing it over here so we can also use for printing rather than string integers we can also use this int string dot um, and we can pull out the we can convert it into the string form but i think we'll uh, use the directly the string integers here and that should suffice so i'll comment out for the timing line number 31 but in case you need it in the integer form uh, where for any calculations or any kind of uh, mathematical form then this line number 31 can be used okay so that's all let me run this in the emulator and see how it comes up it may take a while for the emulator to load and the app to run So app has loaded. So let me see. So I'll first give some very random thing. So say for example A, B, C, and then I'll give some number. Then again some text, some space also I've given, and then uh, some number. Let me see how it comes out. So if you notice, it just pulled out the numbers. It has removed all the other non-numerical forms like all this text space. So one, four, two, two, three, five, five is what it's printing over here. Uh, perfect. So I think I'll use some other text probably. I'll use. Uh, my email id uh, of my channel which is programmer world 1990 at the rate of gmail.com let me see how it happens here i am expecting only 1992 to be printed and that's what it's doing perfect so that's what i wanted to show you uh, i think i will just make this a little bigger so that my complete text is visible here yeah, I'll make bring it to the center. Looks good. This one also I'll make it a little bigger. Yeah, I'll just rerun it once again to see how it comes up. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is. So I'll just type my email ID again. Programmer World 1990 at the rate of gmail.com. Perfect. So you have to just use this one line of text here which is line number 26 and this is the main important part you can replace all the non-numeric part with and just give nothing i mean just uh, open uh, course or close course so it just deletes those part and just retains the number for part which can be used further to print or whatever you want to do so that's all i hope this small video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.